All right, everyone, welcome back. My name is LC, and today we're here with another DC Heroes and Villains video. You have to pardon me, it is early in the morning, very, very early, so my voice is deeper than it really is. And, you know, I'm also very tired, so that is something that we have to deal with later on. But in this video, we're talking about the new tweet that the DC Heroes and Villains page posted, talking about seasons. So I'm going to dive in into um, to what I think seasons are. And hopefully we can decipher and get it right. I don't know when it's going to come out. Maybe like next week or something. Probably next week. But um, yeah, we're going to that today. As always, I want to thank all of you guys for watching and stopping by. Whether you're old or new, if you're a staff subscriber, I appreciate it all the same. Remember the 1,000 subscriber giveaway at the end of the year. We are 17 subscribers away from hitting that milestone. So let's make sure you get to that milestone. I know we can do it by the end of the year. And now let's dive right in. So it says... Themed seasons will soon be introduced to DC Heroes and Villains. More information coming soon. Collect 20 gems and yada yada. And it shows here Aquaman and Black Manta on the side. Um, so what I personally think, I think, well, one, this is, I don't know if it's a movie collaboration, but the Aquaman movie is coming out fairly, in December, fairly soon. So it's not to say it's a collaboration, but it's more like, this is obviously intended, right? To like, promote the movie and probably promote the game too because there's no way that this coming this is coming out in december most likely coming out in december and the movie's coming out at the same time too so like, there's no way this isn't like coordinated there's, there's definitely some coordination there now in terms of seasons i think that means for those of you who play dragon ball legends um you know how recently they kind of did like episode campaigns or like each month they would release a new saga being buffed up, so it would be, let's say, you know, Universal Survivor Saga one month and GT next month, so on and so on. I think it's like that. So, this month, if if I'm correct here, I could be wrong, but if I'm correct, it could be, you know, Aquaman's team getting boosted, or, yeah, like an Atlantean buff, I guess, because there are some other Atlantean characters in there. So maybe we can expect, um... A version of Aqualad, maybe that'd be cool. Um, in the next coming upcoming weeks, um, who knows what's coming? It could be like that. You know, next month could be Justice League buff, or it could be like a Joker buff, something like that. I don't know. Unless they, <laughs> unless they mean um, like the actual season, like oh, it's winter season coming. Like I, I, I don't think so. I don't think they would mean that. But um, you yeah, know, I think that's what seasons could probably mean. Um, just you know, buffing. Well, they kind of did that already, but it wasn't it was not, wasn't called seasons. It was just they just buffed up random. I want to say random. They just buffed up like a, a tag that they wanted to for certain kinds of months. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure first month was it wasn't really it was Justice League and um super super fan super family I think, and the second one was um, Arkham was wanted. And then last month was also Arkham was wanted. Technically this month too. Um, it was also that, so I think this month might be either Justice League or if Aquaman is on a different tag, like an Aquaman or on like an, an Atlantean tag, probably that too. Um, so there is that. Um, next month, I, I don't know. Obviously, I just I'm just I was brainstorming right now as to what seasons could be. Because first off, this art, I'll always say it, the art knocks it out the park every single time, and I will always stick by that. Um, but yeah. So, at least now we know Black Manta is coming to the game. Um, there is that, but is something coming alongside? Like, obviously, seasons are coming, right? But what's coming alongside that? Is it going to be, you know, um, like, I don't know if it's going to be a game mode that's coming out. I don't think that'll make any sense. Um, will he have, will he be a five? I feel like they could probably make him a five star, probably red character. He could be red or purple if they make us another color i'd be generally surprised but i mean i wouldn't be mad at that um what's it called i i kind of wish they do incorporate some four stars into the mix you know what i mean um if you want to oh, put a mira you know what i mean put mira as a four star as like a supporter that'd be pretty cool um i'm trying to think who else from atlantis <laughs> um there's her aqualad if you want to put in that um what's his name aquaman's um brother um was like King Orn, I think. I, mean, I could be wrong. But him too, yeah. That could work. Um, I, I forget who other Atlanteans are there, but there's a few. Um, so yeah, you can put those guys in as, as four stars for like this season. That'd be cool. But just like break it up into 
like two parts of the month if you want to do that um maybe it's like just lead off with aqua lad for like the second half so like the banner doesn't seem weird and put her with um put um put mira with um aqua lad pretty cool let's read the comments really quick before we wrap up are you gonna put a new map and that tide after black manta can you put it january mr freeze captain cold killer frost hmm that could be interesting actually I'll, I'll get back to this afterwards um this is a w keep it up team new mode i'm in this is fire i can't wait so yeah going back to this it could be that like a new map maybe like a new chat i don't know a new chapter but could be a new map right um like limited time events and like you gotta i don't know i, I don't know how it's gonna work but like an atlantis kind of challenge maybe i gotta do some atlantean events the next month it is kind of you know, it's gonna be very cold <laughs> next month so um in january so um i guess mr freeze captain cold killer frost would be like a kind of like a frozen kind of map that'd be pretty cool that'd be pretty interesting i'm not gonna lie to you um yeah they could have did something like this like for october right Captain Cold, Killer Frost, um, because they were both on the, what team was it, because of the Flash's Rogues, I'm pretty sure, Mr. Freeze isn't really part of the Flash's Rogues, but I mean, as them as a cold team, it works, um, but like, Mr. Freeze should definitely be in the game soon, uh, they're kind of, they're kind of time with that one, <laughs> I kind of want him to be here, I'm not gonna lie, obviously he's be a blue unit, four stars, cannot see, if he's a five star, be, I, I wouldn't be mad, but like, I'd be kind of confused as to why, but, um, yeah that's that's pretty much that um i don't know what else to go off of here that's this is my suggestion if you guys um have any other ideas or any other suggestions let me know in the comment section below with that being said i'm gonna wrap it right here thank you all so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment or subscribe as always it is always a pleasure to make a video for you guys stay tuned for my warframe video coming out an hour from now i again listen this was early in the morning early early in the morning i'm recording it technically it's not even an hour from now it's technically for me it's like four hours from now or three <laughs> but from the time when you're watching this it will be an hour so yeah stay tuned for the warframe video as always it is always a pleasure have an amazing day may god bless you and i'll see you all later